Happy, glorious, sunny day, friends. So the salsa and the guacamole and the hummus that we buy at the grocery store, we typically get that because one, tastes really good, and two, we think it's healthy. And it should be healthy. I mean, especially when you look at the sodium content, you're making a conscious decision. And you see sodium is a great example because it typically says something like maybe 4%, 5%, 6%, and then, you know, per serving. And it's still maybe more than we'd like to have, but it's a lot better than a lot of other things we see at the grocery store where it's like 20%, 50%. 60, 70%, that's usually with um, soups and things like that. And then we look at salsa and hummus and guacamole, and we see 5%. And, uh, but if you look at how many servings is in a little thing of salsa, for example, that 5 or 6% sodium per serving, there's about 12 servings in there, 13, 14 servings. And I look at all of them, even at the healthy grocery stores, that's typically almost always what it is. And most of them don't even really have an option where it's less. So one serving size is basically a couple of chips and some salsa dip, and you've already got that one serving. And typically we'll go through the whole container because it's really not that big, and before you know it, you have about half or more than half of your daily recommended intake of salt. And the same is true for sugar. It's usually about a gram, but that's per serving, and there's 12 or something servings in there. We usually go through it all because there's, they're not that big. It's true with, um, with oils too, fat, oil, sodium, sugar, it's the same thing. So if you go through a whole thing of guacamole, salsa, hummus, store-bought, where they put that stuff in there, and on the label it says a very low amount, but then you factor in how many servings it is, it's holy shit, that's really a lot. And then I'm just talking about the daily recommended by the, by the FDA, by the federal government. That number is way too high to begin with. And the reason it's too high to begin with, I think a lot of people know this, is because of the legal bribery in politics with our elected leaders. And oftentimes, they actually put the very people in charge of these agencies um, that we're supposed to be protected from. So it's always an enormous conflict of interest, and that's why we have the food paradigm. And we have a, some, a plate now, my plate, gov, whatever. And uh, everything about it is just completely wrong towards human health. And so we have a very sick nation that needs medications as they get into their 30s. It's common for 30-year-olds to have hypertension, which is a common symptom of too much salt in the diet. People by the age of 30, it's very common to be on hypertension medications for blood pressure and, and cholesterol and triglycerides and all sorts of terrible infl inflammation problems. People get sore joints now by the time they're in their mid 30s. It's terrible. So, and this is one example of people, you know, kudos to you if you're trying to eat healthy, but this is a good discovery to make. So the best thing to do really, unless you're lucky enough to find store-bought salsa, hummus, and guacamole, is to just make your own. It's not real hard, doesn't take a lot of time. It's generally cheaper than buying the store-bought stuff anyway. It's gonna be so much healthier. And you don't need to add any salt, sugar, or oil. Why do they add oil in that stuff? That doesn't make any sense, but it's there. It's usually in the form of canola oil or vegetable oil. It doesn't need to be there. That doesn't make any sense. And I've done videos on how to make really good homemade salsa, mild, medium, or spicy, whatever you want. And I've got some for guacamole, and I've got some for hummus, and you don't need any salt, no sugar, no oils, completely healthy, tastes amazing, and it's fresher because you're making it fresh. And so for those, just go look at my YouTube channel. I got all sorts of videos on how to make this stuff, and that, the easiest way to find that is to go to TomBerkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBerkenmeyer.com, and you'll find my social media plugins there, including YouTube. And on my YouTube channel, you will find my, my cooking channel. Where I show this stuff. I've got over 130 some odd episodes in there so far. So you're going to find all kinds of stuff that you'll probably love. But they have a store-bought salsa, hummus, guacamole. It's really not that good for you just because they kill it. They negate any health factor it's going to have just with the sodium content alone. And it's very deceiving because it'll say like 5% typically for a serving, but they don't tell you there's about 12 or 14 servings in that little bitty container. So, and same thing with oil and sugar and all that stuff. So just look at the labels, you'll see it. Look at the ingredients list as well as the label and you'll see what I'm talking about. And you'll be like, well, those son of a bitches are trying to deceive me, those manipulators. <laughs> it's very much high, a high level of manipulation. So don't fall for it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you got value. Please share this. Everyone should know this stuff. We need more whistleblowers, um, objective whistleblowers, I should say. And uh, someone's asking, why do you forego salt in your meals? I add salt for health reasons. I don't forego salt. I forego adding salt because our food already has enough salt in it naturally on its own, especially if you include enough celery in your diet. And celery, by the way, is uh, perfect for 
strong bones because the celery looks like a bone, snaps like a bone, and it has the exact sodium proportion and content that our bones are supposed to have. As it turns out, it's a superfood for the bones. So we don't really need to add salt to anything. So that's why I don't forgo salt. I just forgo adding it as an isolate. I'll just eat foods that naturally have sodium in it. Same thing with uh, sugars and oils and fats and all that stuff. If I want fat or oil, I'll eat some nuts and some seeds, and the, you know, the whole food, an avocado. So I'm getting those fats and oils in their whole food state the way it's supposed to be. Nothing added. I don't put like olive oil on anything, even though olive oil is healthy. I'll eat some olives if I want olive oil. <laughs> Same thing with sugar. I'll eat a date if I need sugar or some fruit. There's sugar that occurs naturally and that I don't need to put sugar on anything or oil or salt or any of that stuff. That's when you run into problems. So that's why I say plant-based whole food diet. Whole food is really, really important. I hope that clears that up for the person who asked about that. And I don't really see any more comments on this live feed. So anybody watching the recording that has questions, feel free to put them out there. I will be back. And last but not least, for those of you that love health and fitness and wellness and just being objective truth tellers like I do and you like making money with this stuff too, just shoot me a private message. I'll show you what I've been doing for over a decade now. I love the, the concept of this marriage between health and money so that you've ultimately got more options of what you want to do with yourself. <laughs> it's a pretty cool deal. So I'll hear from some of you soon. I hope you got a lot of benefit from this as you're looking at different salsas and stuff you buy at the grocery store. It makes a big difference. Bye for now. Mwah!